Today, we're going to look at search terms and search categories in Performance Max campaigns. So to find the search categories, you simply need to go into your insights inside the Performance Max campaign and scroll down to the bottom middle kind of area where you can find the categories. By default, it's going to show the last seven days. Uh, you can also choose 28 days or you can choose a custom period. In this case, I chose November. And what's a bit confusing is that um, it shows the, the date for the account currently here, but this date is separate. I don't know why things are so kind of disjointed in Performance Max. They could have just kept it a simple, normal campaign, but everything is done kind of in a different way. Anyhow, here we have some search categories with very little information next to them. Now, I would normally view the detailed report or download it to a Google Sheet. So let's click in and view the detailed report. All right, so now we're looking at a much, much uh, more detailed report. We have the conversions, clicks, impression, conversion value, CTR, conversion rate. So we don't have the cost, but we do get a sense of the volume and the conversion rate and how much revenue these search terms have generated. They're grouped together into categories. And if we click on these triangles, we can open up and see the search terms within. Now, this is much more useful to figure out if you're showing for a brand, if you're showing for anything that you don't want to be showing for, you can arrange by clicks, you can arrange by any of these. You cannot change the columns, but what you can do is download it all to uh, any of these formats. Here is the Google Sheet that we've downloaded from Performance Max. I have gone ahead and changed the search terms so that they don't give any information about the brand. So the search terms might not make sense, but that's because of that. So here we have more power. We can see everything. All the search terms are open to us to see as opposed to the little triangles that we had to click on before. So we can see everything in here. A lot of them are hidden. So what we can go ahead and do is we can go and like take these ones and remove them. So we're only seeing search terms now. In this case, I have arranged them by conversions. So we're seeing the most converting search terms. Uh, what I like to do is look at the ones that are converting the most, see if I already have them in search campaigns, and if not, try them in search campaigns, see if these search terms are appearing in my product descriptions and titles, uh, and maybe create an audience. This is how we view and download search terms in Performance Max campaigns. I hope you found it useful, and if you have any questions, just comment below, and I'll be glad to help.